Welcome back to another property tour. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Joshua Guevara. I'm an associate broker with the M Real Estate Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And today we are here at Hakes Brothers at Valle Prado Community, AKA Valle Prado Subdivision. Uh, the plan, floor plan that we're gonna be looking at today is called the 2180. Uh, crazy thing is the square footage of this property is actually 2,180 square feet. Uh, it is also going to end up being a four bedroom and a two and a half bath. And it does have a two car garage. But we're looking at the model home today. And of course, right over here is exactly where your model home uh, would have a two car garage. But since it's the model home, that's not available. Okay, that's the office for the guys to work in. All right. Now, these guys at Hakes Brothers, they do take it a little bit step, uh, I wanna say they take it a step further when it comes to quality. Um, one thing that I wanna say is the two by six construction obviously is a standard, but they also have blown insulation and that's in the walls and also in the roof, okay? Uh, most builders are just gonna have your normal insulation into the walls and it's not gonna get every crack and crevice versus to where you blow it and it just keeps piling in until it's filled all the way up to the top of the roof. And then from there, they start spreading it throughout the entire roof. So it's still blown insulation through the roof. Now it's R21 in the walls and it's R50 in the roof. Now, if you're not familiar with insulation, the higher the number, the thicker it is, the better it is. And of course, it's gonna keep those energy efficiency costs down. Now, there's another thing I wanna point out about Hicks Brothers is that the sealant that they use on the outside is more of a foam instead of just like a your standard caulk, right? So your standard caulking is gonna break down over time versus this new foam that's out. It's gonna last a lot longer and also keep those energy efficiencies down. Now looking at the elevation, they have multiple elevation styles. Uh, this one is gonna be their Craftsman. As you can tell, we do have the stack stone in the front with the two-tone color on the stucco. Also, I forgot, to, forgot, I forgot to mention on the stucco, they actually have a sand finish on the stucco, which actually makes it last a little bit longer than your normal stucco, okay? And when we get closer, I'll try to see if we can get a detailed look at that. It's a lot finer and smoother than your normal stucco, okay? So walking on up, we're gonna see uh, a little bit of a front entryway, but over here we do have our cleanouts. So do keep that in mind. Cleanouts are coming directly out from this front room that you see in the front here. Now, when we walk up, we do have, sorry, it's a nine, sorry, eight foot entry door, six panel, and it has a black finish. Do like the look of that, looking sweet. All right, ooh boy. Ooh, it's nice and fresh in here. Well, another thing I want to mention is look at the archways that they have. Okay, you see those? That's that's something you won't really see standard with most builders. Okay, and that does come as a standard over here at Hakes Brothers. Uh, really quick, just to mention, all doors in this one are eight feet tall. They do have six panel doors, and they all have a black finish. Okay, standard is going to be your nickel, so keep that in mind. All right. Uh, up in the front here, we do have two bedrooms side by side. Uh, we do have a full bath actually in the middle to uh, counteract that. And then over here is actually going to be your service room. Okay. Only electric is available. Clean out right there. Water box. And back here is actually going to be for your Wi-Fi, your Cat5 hookup. All right. And you only have the Cat5 hookups, I believe, in the... Um, great room and in the owner's suite that's the standard if you wanted it in every room i'm pretty sure you can get that worked out of course that will be for an extra fee now i like the way they have this room set up it is set up as an office i mean it does kind of have a proper feel for it considering it's at the front of the house but at the same time you go into that closet and you have the built shelves right and and i mean if it is a bedroom man not too bad to have those shelves working out for you okay uh, also, just to keep in mind, uh, pre-wiring for the ceiling fans does come as a standard here. So if it doesn't have a ceiling fan, doesn't mean that it's not wired for one, okay? So do keep that in mind. I oh, forgot to mention, uh, in this model home, we're gonna have, let me see what it was this, it was a 36 by eight tile, okay? Now, the baseboards are actually two and a half inch. Now, with that being said, the standard, I don't believe, is going to be the 36 by 8. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Most likely it'll be like a 12 by 12 or an 18 by 18. Uh, but again, it still will be tile. 
Now in this model home that we're looking at, it's this 36 by eight tile throughout the entire home, except for in the bedrooms, this carpet, okay? Also forgot to mention that standard is a skip trowel for your texture on the walls. So that is a pretty neat standard for this community, actually for Hakes Brothers in general, because most standards for most builders is gonna be orange peel, okay? So I also forget to mention uh, throughout the home, you're gonna see eight to nine foot ceilings, sorry, nine to 10 foot ceilings. And as you can tell in here, we actually have tray ceilings going through here. So I mean, tray ceilings is a huge thing that they use throughout the home. Uh, you'll see it here in this hallway, and then you'll see it again in the uh, great room, and then you'll see it again in the owner's suite. Now, standard for your bathrooms on the countertops is actually be culture marble, which I really like. Uh, of course, you don't need such a hard surface for your bathrooms because you're not putting stuff on top of it. You know, you're not sliding across a hot crock pot, anything crazy like that. So, of course, you're not getting uh, susceptible to damage. Okay. Uh, on the walls here, you're gonna have 12 by 24 ceramic tile. I do love that. I do love the tub insert, because of course, you know, when you got little kids, it's better just to get them in the tub. That is for sure. I do love how the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. It just doesn't stop right here at the shower head, which is very common and what you see in most builders, okay? So again, the standards here are just a little bit higher. And you know, you might reflect that a little bit in the sales price, but it's nothing too crazy, okay? So, oh, look, actually, I'm sorry, we have an extra bedroom in here. This is a five bedroom place. Sorry, so 2180 square feet, five bedroom, and it's going to be, oh, it's three full baths. Sorry about that. That was totally my fault. So three full baths for this property, five bedrooms. Ooh, I like that. I love the fixtures on this one looking real pretty, and especially seeing that skip trowel off the tip of it. Again, 12 by 24 tile, okay, tub insert, tile going all the way up to the top. Boom, I'm digging it. Now also there are junk ducts that you'll see in every single room. So of course you'll have your duct that's giving you your air, and the other one that's transferring air back into the other, uh, well, back into the returner so that you can get your energy efficiency costs down and also keep the pressure going uh, properly throughout the home. Okay, here's another room, not a little small. Now, one thing is I did have a client come by here and they were interested in actually combining these two rooms. And that was a possibility. So keep that in mind. You know, you might not need this extra fifth room so you can actually narrow it down, right? Make this a little bit bigger, maybe even have a little bit of a bigger closet. Let's see if I can get the light on there. There we are. Maybe a little bit bigger of a closet. I think the bigger room is a little more enticing though. I do love the built-in shelves again. Super, super nice. Bam, built-in shelves. All right, let's go ahead and get to the goods. Let's check out the kitchen. Let's check out this dining and living area. Of course, open floor plan. Everything's kind of jiving together in here. I do love the fixtures hanging over the top here. Oh my gosh, it looks sleek and smooth. I dig that, man, look at that, Woo. All right, so really quick, chef's kitchen, all right? We have this quartz island uh, countertop here. It's actually seven feet by three feet, seven inches, okay? I can't remember, I think that was a two centimeter front. So two centimeter face. We do have a eight inch single basin under mount sink, as you can see here. All right, it is gonna have a garbage disposal. Then you're gonna have your stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Uh, this is a five burner stove top and you do have the pot filler. Now standard would actually just be a granite backsplash, but this one's tiled, okay? And it's that honeycomb decorative tile. So keep that in mind, standard is not exactly this, okay? And same with the pot filler. Pot filler is not a standard. That is gonna be an extra cost, okay? Now when it comes to your cabinets, which Man, look at these bad boys. They're actually 36 by 30. So your long ones are 36 and they look like they have a, probably about a four inch uh, crown mold at the top here. And these are gonna be 30 with a four inch crown mold. Of course, I think that one's probably gonna be smaller than 30, but you know, trying to make it fit, trying to make it squeeze. You got Whirlpool microwave, okay? Whirlpool oven, not two shabs. And of course, boom stainless steel dishwasher 
Um, do have outlets on the side of the island. Of course, that's very common nowadays, but it's always a plus to have that, right? Makes it really, really functional, especially if you work while you eat. <laughs> so really quick, I love these double tray ceilings here. As you can tell, look at the look on that. Ooh, with that ceiling fan. Man, it's a big, big fan. That is for sure. I think that thing would generate some wind. You know, might have you uh, sleeping, snoring in a heartbeat, especially if you're on a comfy day on the couch. Now, really quick, this is 36 inch uh, gas fireplace here. This is 12 by 24 tile going up. Now this, I'm gonna say is not a standard, okay? This is all gonna be extra cost right here. And then right there's gonna be your cable and your cat five, but it's all on the wall. So I would say it's most likely safe to mount on the wall, but with that tile being there, oof, it's gonna be a job for a professional, that is for sure. Do not try to do this on your own. <laughs> all right, now let's go ahead and jump into the owner's suite and then we'll get you guys to the backyard and we'll get this tour wrapped up. But when we're walking into this owner's suite here again, double tray ceilings, boom, huge fan. Man, that thing is kicking too. Let me get a look at this fan. Oh boy. And of course you have your return air in this one. You have a return air in the great room. Um, and there's also another return air in the hallway. So again, keeping those energy efficiency costs down. One thing I will say about this property is I've been in here for about 45 minutes now. And I've probably only heard the, the refrigerated air turn on twice. Okay. Uh, other than that, it stays the same temperature in here. And I think that's going to be a big part of the insulation. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, of course, culture marble is the standard. His and her sink set up for the, for the owner's suite. Digging the fixtures. Not too bad. Okay. Let's get a good look at... Uh... Ooh, boy. Yep. Not two shabs. And now we have a walk-in shower. This is 12 by 24 tile. But of course, you're going to see certain areas where they had to cut and make it, you know, it looks more like a 12 by 12. Of course, they're just cutting it to make it fit. But you do have a tiled mud pan as well. So take a look at that down there. Oh, yeah. Looking real sweet. All right. Ooh, we even have a stand to sit on. And we got actually three shower heads. So we have your overhead, rain shower head, okay? You have your two on the side here and your one on the top. There's actually controls for all three of them. All right, so depending on you know, how you're feeling like you want to shower for the day, or maybe you just want to sit here and, and you know have a waterworks time, you can do that. Uh, do love that all three are actually on their own separate thing, especially for heat control. I dig that. Uh, into this walk-in closet, you know, it's not over overly huge, but at the same time with all of the built-in shelving. I feel like this is a really good fit. Look at that, not too bad, not too bad. Really quick, I wanna point up here. These, you'll see these a lot of the times in your, sorry, camera's freaking out there. You'll see these a lot of times in the closet area. Nine times out of 10, they're for your security system and they're the backup batteries, okay? So in case in the event that there is a storm and it crashes, the whole electricity in the neighborhood, well then at that point, boom, your security system would still be on due to those backup batteries, okay? Linen closet. Let's go take a look at the pantry. It's what I forgot to show you guys, man. Gotta show you guys the good stuff, right? Where you can hold all the food. All right. Got my backpack in there, but not too bad. Really good. Let's see, let's see what the light looks like in here. There we go. All right. Let's get to the backyard. Now all homes do come standard with a back covered patio that is standard back here oh i forgot to mention so this god i can't remember i think this is a 12 foot sliding door that's where we're at is a 12 foot sliding door starts from this side and goes all the way across all right let's see if i can get that open for you guys here let's see we're going one more all right so let's take a look from the back here now that we got that bad boy open, look at that. Man, you're, you could get a couple couches through there, no problem, all right? Look at that, that is awesome. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Love the look of it. Sweet, man. I think the only thing is, you know, we have had a bit of fly attacks lately. So do keep that in mind. You probably need a little bit of a bug screen there. Uh, really quick, valve cover with your water lines coming in. You do have a water spigot on this side. Uh, this, this gazebo, 
I'm gonna say is not standard, okay? But if you wanted it done, of course, it will cost you an extra fee. Just keep that in mind. Um, I think on average, they probably do about 50 to $100,000 in upgrades. So that just depends on really how far you are wanting to go with the upgrades. This on this side is gonna be your refrigerated air unit, your electricity and your gas are all on this side, right up at the front. So if you did wanna build something in the back here and you wanted to make it permanent, it should be fine. Of course, you'll have to review that on your survey, but just keep that in mind if you are like trying to build something like a gazebo in the back, okay? Now, I do love the gate for the side yard access. That's great. Um, I do believe the standard for here is just gonna be uh, gravel like this, like you're seeing. I don't think you're gonna get the artificial turf like this one right here, or you would get those walkway steps either, okay? So keep that in mind. That is not gonna be a part of the standard. Most likely will just be this gravel right here. Uh, you do have another side yard gate for quick access. Uh, really quick, you do have a clean out right here, um, kind of coming out of nowhere. I wonder what it's for, most likely for the kitchen area, I would think, because uh, that's probably the closest uh, area with water running to it or water that would drain out. Um, over here on this side, of course, this is just all parking area, but if they do end up sell selling this model home for whatever reason, I don't know what exactly will happen with this. This might just be a, an area that they they have to just completely wall off and separate it from everywhere else. So you keep that in mind. Now, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in for this property tour. Oh, really quick, I forgot to mention, uh, this area does have a public improvement district and that is $530 a year. This does have an HOA, which is $30 a month. Now, Hakes Brothers is actually running a ton of incentives and which I think are really sweet and awesome incentives. They are doing 40K and 40K incentive towards either your sales price, your closing costs, or a buy down in your interest rate, okay? Now, you do have to use one of their approved lenders, which is Bank of Albuquerque or One Trust. but if you don't wanna use any of those lenders and you wanna use your own lender, they have actually, a, man, the only two things that they need to hear from your lender is that the certificate of occupancy needs to be a part of the final appraisal. And so pretty much what they're saying is at the end of the transaction, they, the lender has to be willing to wait for the certificate of occupancy and also the final appraisal on the property as well. So what happens is they have the certificate of occupancy come in at the same day of closing. And that's the reason why they want the lender to be okay with that. If your lender is not okay with that, then you won't be able to get the incentives. So just keep that in mind. If you are gonna use your lender, make sure they're able to make the certificate of occupancy and the appraisal a condition before, right before you close, okay? And if you need more elaboration on that, you can go ahead and contact me or you can go ahead and contact Edward Montoya. He's actually one of the community leads out here and we can jump, uh, dive into it and give your lender a full breakdown. I mean, it's nothing complicated. It should be really simple. But again, if you ever want to reach out to me, you have any questions, you want me to do another property tour of other custom homes, don't hesitate to reach out. You can text me anytime at 505-363-7926 or you can email Joshua at mregrp.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another property tour and enjoy the rest of your day.